Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Take one. <laughs> Okay, did you go to like pizza places with arcades? Oh yeah, of course. What games did you play when you went to the arcade? Uh, you know, Galaga, Pac Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, oh. racing games. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I love Galaga. Asteroid. That's that's Hello. nickel arcades. What that is. <laughs> anyway, today we're talking about quarter arcade. <laughs> We played a little bit of arcade stuff, but we did it at home. Yes. Which uh, is kind of the worst way to play an arcade game. It saved us a lot of quarters. You know how many quarters it saved us? How many quarters? So many quarters. <laughs> it's a lot of quarters. Um, <laughs> so we did the math on this one. Uh, we played a quarter eater today. We did. Yeah, we played, um, we played the, well, I don't even know if you'd call it the first four Metal Slug games. We played Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug 3, and Metal Slug X in preparation for the game we're going to play and talk about today. And um, I got the numbers here on how well we did. Go ahead, read them out. Do you really want to know? I don't think I really want to know, but I think I need to know. It's painful. It's going to hurt. It hurt me. It's okay. Let's do it. Like a Band-Aid, just, just go. Let's go for it. Metal Slug 1, I died 16 times, which if you're doing the math on that, uh, every time you die, it's another quarter. It was about four bucks. But then let's be honest, I gotta add a quarter for getting the game started. So it was about $4.25. Metal Slug 2, I died 14 times. Did a little better. There you go. Yeah. Improvement, yeah. I think it's a better game. So that was about $3.50 plus a quarter to get started. Metal Slug 3 is a quarter eater. It just inhales quarters because it is some bullshit's what it is. It really was. Eat you alive. Died 35 times. Eight dollars and seventy-five cents plus a quarter. Uh, Metal Slug X. I died 17 times, which is about on par with how I do with the first one. So it's four dollars twenty-five overall. Died 82 times. It's been about twenty-one dollars and fifty cents to get through this. That was just me. <laughs> yeah. I, I spent uh, I spent uh, just a couple more quarters than that. Yeah. I mean, you 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 were uh, six dollars and fifty cents on the first one. Six twenty five. Right. Did a little better on the second one. Nice. Twelve twenty five on the next one. And uh, yeah, because that just it inhaled quarters. Just a lot. Just meat shielding you right now. I'm pretty sure I stood behind you, let you die for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I took a lot of the hits. You know. Uh, six seventy-five for the last one, with a total of thirty-two dollars and seventy-five cents with the four original quarters. So, uh, total, we spent fifty-four dollars and twenty-five cents to play these four games. Um, if I wasn't in a pizza place with grease on my fingers, it's not worth it. Uh, don't buy these on the Steam. They run like garbage. Um, the menus are terrible. It's a, it's a stupid time. It was impossible to select anything. They were just glitching so bad. Yeah, I had to. We were playing with controllers. Had to stop. Uh, had to go back and, and do mouse and keyboard in order to get the menus to work because they were buggy. Uh, there's not much to unlock. It's not worth your time. It's just it's really not. See all the seven C's. It ran worse than it does on an arcade. It was it was interesting for such an old game to run so poorly nowadays. It's amazing. Now, we're talking a lot of garbage here, so <laughs> let's let's talk about what was good about it. What did we like about Metal Slug? Because it's a classic game. Yeah. The game itself, uh, one of my favorite things that I noticed right off the bat, I love the music. It was just such a fun game to listen to. I was just kind of like bouncing the whole time. It really gets it. you into the mode, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you're just, you're, just, you're just shooting bullets, you're flinging bullets, and you're having fun. I like the fact that there was no, you didn't pick up ammo. You just had to hit the, was there even a reload button? No, you just, you just, just went. Heavy machine gun. Heavy machine gun. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Just, just dumping bullets. Just delivering lead into all of their hearts. You run out of ammo. You dump the gun. You go back to the pistol. Unlimited ammo there. The pistol is great. It operates the whole way through the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, the big boy guns are exciting, but it, let's be honest, it, it, anything you use feels good. Yeah. It, it all feels good. Thank you. I wanted to 
play this because I felt like it led in pretty well mm -hmm. to the game I really wanted to talk about. The game that I wanted us to really get into today that I think is worth your time and is worth the money. Mercenary Kings. It just, it gave me that Metal Slug energy. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? It, it, you know what? I see it. Yeah. Yeah. It's very much just run and shoot. You know, um, you want to pick up ammo, you just hit the reload button and then you just, you just go. Yeah. You got timed reloads on this one. So yes. it's a little, a little bit different. Yeah. But, um, it was great. Just also very similar, very just fast paced shooting game. You have your objective and you just, you got to go accomplish it. You know, it feels, it feels good to play. It, it does. You know, it's a, uh, it's a little more sticky, a little more repetitive. The controls are, I don't know, I wouldn't say that they're not as tight, they're just different. Yeah. There's no, I, I keep complaining that there's no momentum to your movement. Oh, yeah. the way you just stop on a dime? Yeah, yeah. It, it feels a little weird. A little stiff. Yeah, sometimes those jumps don't feel very good. Right. I definitely died a lot on those weird jumps. And they weigh you down based on how much your gun weighs, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Right. But uh, your gun will weigh you down, so sometimes you run a little slower, you can't yeah. jump as far. But overall, uh, you know, our time playing it so far has been fun. I've really enjoyed this game. It was a lot of fun. I like uh, the customizable aspect of it. I like how you can upgrade your weapons and your gear in ways that can, um, you know, improve the gameplay. Yeah. Lower, lower the weight so you're not falling as much or increase the rate of fire, all the fun stuff. I think the biggest thing is like, how do we shoot more bullets faster down the hallway? How do we just spray more bullets? I think that's the name of this game because of the way that the enemies respawn and constantly come back to the same areas. Because you leave one area, then you, you, go, you go back to the same screen, enemies are there again. Uh, the point of the game is to shoot as fast as possible because the enemies don't stop coming. The more bullets you lay down, the yeah, faster you get done. Uh, yeah, it's one of those games where the longer you play it, the better equipment you have. You can go back and replay old levels, which is nice. There's a level selection, which is something that Metal Slug doesn't have. It's a very linear, like you go from A to B in, uh, you know, this level, this level, this level. Um, Mercenary Kings allows you the, the luxury of choosing which level you want to go to. If you want to farm for materials to build better guns or, you know, collect more money or whatever, it, it allows you to do that. It, it really it wants you to do that. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the thing is, it's like, on the back of the core gameplay loop, is it fun to play? It's pretty fun. It is fun to play. I mean, I, I like it. It's, uh, it's fun music. It's it, The bullets come fast. I mean, it's just, it's fast paced. I like fast, quick games. That's exactly that. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to get back to it. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> So last time we left off in different outfits, we are starting off our Mercenary Kings playthrough. It's a fun game. It's a fun experience. It is. It's just a, it's an investment. Yeah, it is. It's um longer than I thought it would be. I thought it was a much shorter game than it was before we got into it. There are yeah. a lot of missions. There's a lot. Um, what I did like was that you do not have to complete um, every single mission to move on to the next phase. Yeah. The game kind of has you set up as like a military ranks. So every time you complete a certain amount of missions, you get bumped to the next rank and then you can unlock more missions and so on and so forth. And the thing about the military ranks that I really like is that uh, it just gives you new weapons. It gives you new, yeah, it gives you new gear. Exactly. And I really just wanted to get heat seeking shots. And you know, once you get heat seeking shots, I just, I feel happy. It's kind of nice. Like it. Yeah. Just to go through, get the ranks up, get better guns and I'll, and then like, go back to early ranks and just mow everybody down. Yeah. I had a lot of fun with this game. I actually, I mean, I genuinely liked it. It was kind of similar in line to the other game we played, um, Door Kickers Action Squad, where you're mm. just, you're mowing down, you're shooting bullets, you're mowing down enemies, mm -hmm. you're having a good time. 
My only real complaint is that it does feel a little bit stiff. Like the controls feel a little bit stiff. There's no momentum to your movement. And like when you run, your gun doesn't like move with you, which right. is a little, a little weird. There's no, no recoil when you shoot. With the gun is just yeah. stationary the entire time. It's just kind of funny because your character bounces, yeah. your character moves, your character sways. They even do this, this fun little stretching motion when you first start a mission. Like they've got a lot of energy into them. Yeah. But then the, the gun itself, it's just kind of funny. You're, you're moving around the gun. The yes. gun is just pasted onto you. Yeah. Which is or an odd aesthetic choice. Or you're, you're, you're being carried by your gun. What are your complaints about the game? I think they could trim the fat a little bit and cut down some of the, the key characters. There's a lot going on. I stopped focusing on the lore. I think they did. I think they added more in there to make up the fact that they just lacked in a lot of the departments. Right. I, but, I feel like they. I wish we would have done put more into making the missions more variable than the characters more variable. Well, it's a kickstarted game, so I mean, you, you can get as much as you can out of the budget you're given, and I right. think the budget for this game, you know. If you if you say oh the game was kickstarted for over a hundred thousand dollars it sounds good, but in the world of like game development it's not much. If you're trying to hire professionals and it takes more than a year to develop a game, it's it's not a lot of money. And so I think it's impressive that a kickstarted game did as well as this because I've had a lot of bad experience with kickstarted games. <laughs> so uh, the fact that the game actually made the stretch goals that they didn't reach in the Kickstarter, they actually finished all of those goals. Oh, and I nice. just, I think that this was a big Kickstarter win. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the fact that it came out, it, it, it works decently. There's no real bugs I ran into. I mean, That's true, knowing yeah. it's a Kickstarter game definitely bumps up a few points because I feel like those are notorious for um, failing or not delivering even half of what they promise. So, um, <laughs> yeah, if you're lucky. If you're exactly, and the fact that this yeah. one like did what it promised and a little bit more, I, that is extremely admirable. And I feel like just for that reason alone, you should support this this game and this company because that's great. Yeah, they did what they said they're gonna do, and I feel like the majority of Kickstarters don't do that. No, they don't. No, <laughs> I, I think the majority of AAA games can barely land. The, Even AAA, yeah. how many AAA games come out? I mean, you're talking about the one Warhammer. <laughs> damn thing should have been put down anyway um yeah no i think i think it was uh it was good times good times for you give it place yeah. give it your monies <laughs> i don't know Mission complete. it feels complete it feels like it gives you enough there's no dlc or nonsense attached to it that's always good um yeah it's good times yeah i did Hey, thanks for watching Side by Side. We've got a little follow-up coming up after this, so uh, keep your eyes open. I'm gonna drop it in a separate video, and it's kind of just us, I don't know, just reminiscing, talking about uh, all the work we put into this project, and uh, I hope you I hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks again for, for watching the show.